This is a big deal. You're from Dallas. The headquarters are there. What is finally luring you here to New York City? Well, I will say we weren't um, in pursuit of a location in, in Manhattan. We're very, very lucky that Bergdorf Goodman is part of our corporation. We have an amazing location at 58th and 5th. But when uh, Steve and his colleague Ken Himmel came to talk to us and explain their vision, uh, we were intrigued. I, I will say initially I was a little skeptical, but the more we discussed it and the more we understood uh, what they were envisioning for the community that they're building at Hudson Yards, and once we really dug into the demographic shifts in Manhattan and what's going on on the western and southwestern part of the city, we be became very, very intrigued. And so it's the neighborhood is, feel and the community feel that really is all, attracting all of that. And it's the coming together of the neighborhood, the High Line, the arts part of what uh, uh, Hudson Yards is going to have. All of the bringing it together is made it almost the perfect place to build a Neiman Marcus store. You know, Steve, we've, we've been really interested in watching some of the new tenants that you've been luring. We know about others that are going to be going there. How did you set out who you wanted to be as, as some of the tenants in that, in that original opening? Well, we thought we, we could see a shift. People do business differently. And with the size of Hudson Yards, we were able to really create a new city within the city. Mm -hmm. and, and you look and see where the young people want to be, where people are going, you know, at night. And, uh, and we were building some rental buildings in that area, we were getting our highest rents in Chelsea, in the whole city of New York. And so there has been a tremendous shift, of, say, from the Upper East Side, where people want to go, where your highest prices are, uh, to, the, to that area. And it was like the perfect storm. The, the city and state were spending tremendous amounts of money. And if you really follow the money where they're spending it, this is where the growth is going to occur.